Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a What's Sold video for last week, Monday through Thursday, which was February 27th through March the 2nd. You know, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. I had a couple of really, really nice sales to share with you because, you know, it, it's slow right now. All I can do is encourage you to keep doing it, keep doing everything that you can control, keep listing. I have taken this opportunity to get a whole bunch of my death pile dealt with, my profit piles, right, dealt with. I am plowing through the bags. I'm still running sales. I'm sending offers. I'm still doing my delete and sell similar. And sales are okay. Where I wish they would be, no, but that's okay. We're gonna just, I'll get through this. I noticed when I was listing something this week that eBay has shuffled some of my item specifics that I know, you know, I because I list stuffed animals so much. You know, if, if you change something on me because I'm very methodical in the way that I list, I notice it. So I know eBay's changing some stuff. So, you know, let's just hope that, you know, they're making things better everything's going to get back to normal very soon and then we all will start you know making the sales that we were anticipating but it's it's discouraging but we're okay we're going to get through this just keep doing keep what is my my saying we got to just keep working just keep working it all right let's get to i think Yep, I had sales on all four of my platforms. Of course, eBay is my largest platform. Everything starts on eBay. And then I use List Perfectly to cross list to all of the other platforms. That's another thing I encourage. If you haven't started cross listing and you're, you know, needing the the financial support of this online selling thing, I definitely try to get stuff into the other platforms. I think Posh is super easy, although Posh is the last one that I have started using. Um, and then if you've got vintage stuff, Etsy is a very good platform. And then of course Mercari. Mercari is Mercari. I'm just not getting a whole lot of sales there. I'm not quite sure. I think with their little price increase, a lot of people have moved away from there as far as for the shipping. Just, I think it was a major mistake on their part. Build-A-Bear plush. This is an 8-inch plush, and it had these cute little heart pajamas on. It sold for $10 on Mercari. And then this Hallmark Gray Rabbit, had like jointed legs, sold also for $10. I took an offer. I did not set my stuff up to do automatic offers. Has anybody done that, and do you see it making a difference? Um, maybe I need to start... I wouldn't go back in and use my time to change all of that, but maybe moving forward, I should set it up so that, you know, you, you set your minimum that you're willing to take, and then it would automatically accept offers. Don't know. Poshmark, I sold this Cabbage Patch little doll. These are from 2018. There's a whole series of zoo animals, farm animals, just very, very cute Usually, most of them I sell list for like nine ninety five, and I sell for like eight to ten dollars. But this one was better. Um, it sold on Poshmark for eighteen dollars. This is a Build a Bear iCarly plush. Its saving grace was it had the iCarly necklace on it, um, and it sold on Poshmark for seventeen dollars. And then this little. It's called Little Giraffe Ink. It's a lovey, but it didn't have like a stuffed animal portion to it. Those are very good brands to be looking for. This one sold for $20. And then one little Etsy sale. This is from my high bid estate sale I won almost two years ago. I'm still making sales from that. I got a bunch of it listed right at the beginning, and then it's just kind of been selling I haven't even listed all of it. There's still some over there. Um, but this little 
Dairy Queen Blizzard Milkshake from 1999. It's the 12 inch plush, sold for $14.95. Now eBay. All right, I think there might be one more of these. I went to a church yard sale. I wanna say two years, this is another one of those. Two years ago, bought an entire table of strawberry shortcake dolls and accessories. Almost, I think everything was five bucks each. And I spent like $120 just on strawberry shortcake. And this is one, I think one of the last dolls. I think I might have a horse left, but it sold for $26. Old Navy men's jeans sold for $12. Next week is spring break for us. And I told Robert, we're going to work on a lot of the shirts. He tends to um, take pictures of a lot of the jeans, but he doesn't like doing the shirts by himself. So we're going to focus on getting a whole lot of clothing listed next week. This is Lila and Jack Unicorn Lovey. It sold for $10.18. But y'all, this was purchased by a desperate mama and she paid for overnight shipping to get this to her child. So you know, you just never know, you know, who's going to be looking for something. And it just, I'm glad that I'm a lot of times the person that they find because I have so much plush listed. Oh, I don't know what I did, y'all. Let me get back up to this. All right. Finding Nemo. This is um, an 18 inch plush sold for $13.90. I'm thrilled with a lot of bread and butter because, you know, if I was somebody who only wanted to sell things that are, you know, $25 and up or $50 and up, I'd be struggling right now. I'd be struggling. And when this is your primary income, you know, you gotta, you gotta list what you get. And we get a lot of just bread and butter. This is Cole's Cares. It was a koala bear from National Geographic Kids. It sold for $10 best offer. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say they paid $10 for that, they did pay extra additional for the shipping. This I'm pretty sure picked up at the Goodwill bins. Um, Arizona Diamondbacks Rattle Shaker. I think it was like a game day thing that they were giving out. Sold for $17.07. Another lovey. This one is bear with the baseball theme. I think it said Classic Characters Clothing Company was the manufacturer. Sold for $17.62. Tie. Tie. Some ties are worth picking up. This is Pookie the Bear from Garfield, 2009. Sold for $18.55. Any Pookie. You know, he, he's got a very unique face. Anytime. I think Dakin might have some. Applause might have some. And then this tie. Any of the Pookies do very well. Oniva Picnic Insulated Cooler. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the bins a very long time ago when I went used to go to Asheville quite a bit. Finally sold $20.41. It had a company logo on it. So that, I think you know, stopped most people from wanting to buy it. Home Buddies, I talk about this um, series a lot. It's by Russ. They're all made out of terry cloth. I think I showed this recently in a video. It's just very small monkey. I think I've picked up a Santa Claus. I've picked up a duck. Um, there's quite a few in this series. I think the gray striped mouse is one of the ones I've talked about quite often. But this one still sold for $18.55. Gund, Winnie the Pooh. I pick up all poo. It's mostly bread and butter for me, but it sells very often. Um, this was one with the um, Santa stuff. Sold for $9. Looney Tunes, Tasmanian Devil. This is funny. I picked it up at a yard sale. I want to say I paid, I picked up like two or three different little pin sets. 
I want to say I paid like five dollars for all of them I don't quite remember well it was so small it ended up down in a basket and I was going through stuff trying to just deal with small piles of my death pile stuff um, and found it and listed it and it sold pretty quickly for fifteen dollars and seventy six cents but it was Taz and his bride a little cute pen these are glass um, chick figures it was by um, Cannon Falls it sold for ten dollars and eighty four cents that's what the set looked like very cute Walmart I love picking up Walmart plush it is such a good quality I think but also adding to this I do really well with any pretty much any animal that has the rabbit ears on it I'm not quite sure what that's all about just I guess there's collectors for everything right this was just a brown dog with the bunny ears nine dollars and twenty five cents dandy this is a large pink unicorn it took a little while to sell um, $18.55 though Crocs um, these are wedge high kind of high heel I don't wear high heel shoes I like Crocs but they got to be flat these weren't my size though or I, I'm you know I like this style just if it was flat um, these sold for $18.55 I'm pretty sure we probably paid up one or two dollars at a yard sale now these are Hudson and Barrow men's jeans they were um, they still had their tag um, but I don't list clothes even with tags for new I just don't I think you have less likely of getting bureaus and other issues if somebody was to find just a small spot somewhere on it but y'all I was doing comps for something the other day and somebody had listed a plush it had its tags it was a vintage plush it had its paper tags they had it listed new with tags but a dog had chewed it and the eye was busted busted and they had new with tag just because you have a tag does not make your item new it just it doesn't and if it's vintage it's not new it's you know like I put on here appears unused pre-owned but in excellent condition with tags all of that but not new farmhouse carrots snack plate by Rachel Ashwell they were melamine or melamine plates I picked these up at our Goodwill I want to say they were like a dollar ninety nine for the six of them sold for sixteen dollars and seventy cents they would have sold for a whole lot more but I when I got home they were all taped together and then I realized that there were scratches on it from like utensils and stuff so I just listed them for $19.95 and sold them for $16.70 this is from the online hybrid estate sale I won also this is from Kellogg's it was a lot of advertising a lot of um, restaurants cereals just back when they used to really you did these mail-in orders and you'd get stuff or it was in boxes just at bygone times I missed that but this one was called a sweetheart corn doll she had her original outfit on but she also had an extra outfit she sold for $15 now these next two sold to one buyer I went to an, um, a thrift store when I lived in another town and they had a gallon size baggie of just a bunch of different things from the um, National Rail Railway Historical Society so I have just small lots of things pins and patches like this I think there were stickers I don't even think all of it's listed I think the rest of it's sitting over there but they this person bought two of the patches for eight dollars and 32 cents and then bought a set of three of the pins for eight dollars and 96 cents Eric Carl these are baby toys one was a little rattle and one was just a small plush these sold for ten dollars best offer 
and then FAO Schwartz, just a cute white dog, sold for $12.04. Lots of bread and butter. And we're getting into some of the bigger things. My saving grace for just a lot of low, a low sales and not as many sales as I normally get. But this I picked up at an estate sale recently. Bought a bunch of small figures. Um, most of them were from cartoon series that are no longer on TV. This one is codenamed Kids Next Door. Her name is number three, number three, um, Kooky. I think I paid 50 cents. I got four or five from this series. And this one is the first to sell for $37.15. She's only two and a half inches tall. Popples. I think this came from the um, bags that I've been going through from the St. Louis bins. Um, this, come to find out, was kind of a more rare of the Popples. Her, its name is Potato Chip from 1986, and it sold very quickly for $46.45. This, this has been listed for a while. Again, I think I picked it up at the Goodwill bins from one of our sourcing trips. The brand is a Muse, I think it's like Dongarin Squirrel. Definitely anime. Let me see if I can show you guys the tags here. See? And then a lot of, I'm assuming Japanese writing. But it was larger and I ended up using Amazon, I think to come up with a price because a lot of these type plush are small that were listed. Make sure when you're doing comps that you pay attention to the size of plush because you might be, you know, looking at 12 inch plush or six inch plush and you have a larger plush. Um, so I just kind of used, I think it was Amazon to pick a price point and it ended up selling for $64.81. But just a very cute, pink squirrel and my best sell and I just showed you guys this recently I think on one of our on the road probably my last on the road video so go check that one out but went to an estate sale they had this doll with a gallon size Ziploc bag next to her for $10 10 um, I was considering separating them out but I don't think I would have gotten as much if I had done that. The doll itself is probably worth about $20 or $25. It did have like the little bathing suit one. Only one pair of shoes. Um, and then a couple of outfits I think were handmade. Um, and had some snap issues and some of it was discoloration. But I think... Let me go ahead. This all sold for best offer of $120. I got the first offer. I think it was this one, $120, probably within 10 minutes of listing it. And then probably within an hour, I had a second one for $115. But I, I let it go the entire day, hoping that somebody would buy it at the full listed price. But the next morning, I went ahead and got up and accepted the $120 um, and then got it shipped on its way. But let me pull this off so I can show you some of the outfits. But this doll is ideal, and her name is Tiffany Taylor. Now, the front of her hair is blonde, but the back of her hair is black. So she's, like, two-toned. And then she had, like, I think these two dresses might have been handmade. I'm not quite sure. And then here's some of the other outfits. Now, this pink one did have a Tiffany Taylor tag inside of it. Um, I really liked this skirt outfit right here and then this I had found that outfit on some of the dolls um, but yeah this one had some condition issues it was missing a snap let me get some more of these pictures going this one had some marks on it the shoes were stained this dress I think was possibly this dress and um, the tennis outfit I think were the stars of the show I really do because I couldn't find anything like them but $120 I'm thrilled with it very exciting sales um, 
I don't think this next video is going to have very much good stuff in it, though. It's been tough. It's tough, y'all. But all I keep thinking, and I've said this before, you know, get everything listed because fourth quarter is going to be here before you know it. And for me, because I'm a toy reseller and I sell a lot of vintage, fourth quarter tends to be my best quarter of the entire year. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I think I have 20 bags left of the um, last sourcing trip. And so I'm just going to keep plodding through that. I'm going to make a couple videos today and keep, keep doing my thing. All right, let's get to work. Bye.